What's up, gang? So, like, I got this box that's, like, almost as big as me. Um, I guess I can't really fit this on the table underneath no. the GoPro. That's what I was gonna say. You can can you like, like angle that down, like? Yeah, a little can I just bit? grab it? Come pick it up. Yeah, I was wondering, like, angle it down a little bit so they can like see it as I open it up. Dangling. So they don't think I actually just have a box of foam peanuts here that I'm just like pulling cars we already own out from under the table. This is uh, I was on the the my book and the face space and the Insta bird and whatever that's all called. And there was like a little shop that popped up and they had some Pokemon cards in stock. So, I ordered them. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, Lugatone found Pokemon cards online. It's just some more boring ass battle styles. But this is actually a little bit older. It's not anything like vintage or old, old, but this is stuff that you, eh, you see a little bit of it in stores, but not very often anymore. I'll tell you what, they taped the hell out of that box. I mean,. There's several hundred dollars worth of Pokemon cards in here, so I hope so. Yeah. That was nice of them, though. Yeah. Eee! Ooh! What's in the box? Got a piece of cardboard. Okay. More cardboard. Bubble wrap? Bubble wrap. Maybe if I wrap enough of that around myself, I won't hurt myself. That is dope. Crimson Invasion. One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four. Ah, ah, ah. Five. Ah, ah, ah. And six. That one's wrapped loose AF, but I don't really care. That's okay. And okay. the best part. I think we opened some of this earlier, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. Champion's Path. This was the real steal, for real, for real. Yeah, that's dope. But yeah, like, I know we got, like, one or two of these Crimson Invasion ones, but, like, ETBs are my favorite Pokemon product. I just think they're cool. Show me, the me that for free. That was that, yeah, that was at the bottom. Is there anything else at the bottom? Sheesh. There's a little thing. Let me see. This one. I nice. think it says that Louis Vuitton is incredibly handsome and talented, and they just love him so much that they sent us a free Battle Styles pack. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna open. We're gonna open one of these. And we're gonna open the Battle Style dip they sent us. That makes sense. That seems like a. This is really cool. Yeah. They like so like. Shameless plug here. I promise you, I'm not sponsored by these people, but. Th these cards were supposed to get here on Friday, and they did. But I didn't even pay for, like, better shipping or anything, and they sent it so that a signature needed to be there because they knew this was very important package. Yeah. So shout out to them for that. Yo! But also, yeah. the owner of the shop called me that day because he saw it didn't get ordered or it di didn't get delivered because I wasn't there to sign from it. And he called my number personally to make sure I knew that it was going to be waiting at the post office or whatever. Oh, that's cool. So shout out to him. Yeah, he did our Instagram stuff and everything. So yeah. yeah, so shout out to James. Yeah. I appreciate you. Does it say we're, we're our first customer? It says we're the first customer. Yeah, we're the first customers. What? It says, thank you for, we were proud to announce that you were our first customer. Please, it says, please follow us on Instagram and tag and share any of your pulls that you get from these awesome sets. We are collectors as well. We would love to hear your feedback and reviews. Yeah, put this on. Put this on Yo, Instagram. that's lit. This is lit. Honestly, yeah. honestly, most of the people that I buy Pokemon on cards Instagram off follow, of on the internet follow. are like not nice, wholesome people like this. They're like. Not great people. This is great people. Right yeah. Here. yeah. Like so shout out to James ever. over at Nerds vs. Geeks. You're the realist. I hope you know that. Like, this is a... And his little picture is cool. Like the ninja. Like the yeah. Like... Ninja sword, like, like that's what... That. Like that's the level we're trying to get on. So like shout out for giving us something to stride for, James. Yeah. Like that's super cool. We're totally keeping that. Like we're keeping that. Right, like that's going to go on the wall of cool stuff that we Yeah. Remember. Like that's something dope at the cabinet. Like I'm glad we could be... Sick. The first, his first little thing. Can I see that? Yeah. Uh. All right. First customers. That means there must be a Tyranitar in this pack, right? They sprinkled all of their good luck on it for us. So. 
Okay, this is all battle styles over here, so I'll just add it to this pack. How have I opened a million packs of battle styles and never seen this cock turn? Huh? I swear, I've never seen this. We've opened like a million packs of this set, and I don't remember this card. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I feel, that, I feel like there's just a bunch of random cards in here that I just like, oh yeah, that's in this set. I like, I swear, that's like the only one of these cards that I've looked at and thought like, I don't remember seeing that before. So we got an Aegis slash rare on the reverse hollow. And we've got the Vavillion in the rare slot. That's a bummer, but that's still like super cool. That was a that was a free little freebie from our friends at Nerds vs. Geeks. So shout out to James. Uh, I'm probably going to say that uh, 20 more times, but like, you're actually super awesome. I really appreciate you. So does everyone else here at the cabinet. All right. So, Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion. I think there's a cool silver lay in there. I'm guessing there is if it's on the pack art. We'll go through this a little bit slower because I don't think we've actually done a Crimson Invasion ETB on the channel here. You got this, this cool little poster here that's the outer cardboard. <coughs> that's what I love. We got this player's guide that I'm going to make Bubby and the Cap, or sorry, uh, Bubblicious and the Captain look through here so that they can tell me what good cards are in the set. Not just the one with pretty pictures on it. Secured the land pack and the pokey pack in the same day. It's lit. So we got these sleeves. Jerry. I actually really like these. I'm might put these on my deck. Uh, Crimson Invasion is from the Sun and Moon era. And in the Sun and Moon era, you got eight packs in your ETBs. We're just gonna open some of these packs. I don't know what half of these Pokemon are called, so I can't even say, I like this one better, so I'm gonna save it for last. So, I'm gonna start with... with uh, Geometry Dip. <laughs> Sorry, just making for just making sure we're still pulling forward to the yeah, front it's here. Yeah, son of a. <laughs> Got the Grumpig. That's the captain when you wake him up from his nap. Haunter, Swinub, Nummel, Minchino, Mistrevis. Got the electric type, rock type Geodude. Ooh, that's fire. Got the yeah. reverse hollow Alolan Raichu. Vibing and thriving with the surfboard tail. Ooh. And we've got a Houndoom. Love Houndoom. I like the one from the new set better, but I agree. Houndoom's great. You know what bothers me? I've been playing a lot of Sword and Shield on my Switch recently. I like was super into it when it came out, and then I just never played through the DLC. So I'm getting back around to that. And like, these new sets are based around Sword and Shield and the DLC, right? There's no Houndoom in Sword and Shield. So, like, how am I supposed to round out my Dark-type team without Houndoom? I just don't get it. Yeah. If I was an Arctic mammal, I'd be a Swolar Bear. <laughs> Staravia. Gladian. Starly. <clears throat> Skiddo. pika -pee. Oh, that's a cute Pikachu. Got the Houndour to go with Houndoom. Jigglypuff. We got the dashing pouch. That's super dope. Oh. I know this card is like probably worth like nothing, but that is oh. gorgeous. Yeah, I really like the way that looks. That looks so oh. good in foil. Uh, see, this is why I love Pokemon. Like when I be open magic packs, it's like if I don't get something fire fire most of the time, it's super meh. But, like, everything looks so cool in Pokemon. Like, yeah. I swear, I'd be getting excited about everything. Throw that one to you all. I've been forgetting to do that. Scumbag Tone. Piloswine. Uh, oh, hi, baby. The babies are here. Come on, right on. Execute. Hi, babies. Nummel. Swineub. Got the Crawdont Reverse Hollow. I really like the Sun and Goes with the, the two uh, core fish we pulled earlier. Yeah, I really like the the way they do the Reverse Hollows in the Sun and Moon block where they yeah. have like the logos. It just looks so much better than the Battle Styles ones. Ah, 
We'll talk about them when we pull them out of battle style, so of course he came to play. We got Cacturn in the rare slot. Yeah. I think we pulled it before because I vaguely remember saying something about it once. But I feel like it was so long ago that I... <clears throat> Who knows? It all blurs together. Yeah, there's so much of it. Got the fairy energy. Got to pull that out to deal with all these ADP players. Yeah. Pyloswine. Carblast. Jangmo. Whoa, 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 wee, whoa, whoa, whoa. Remoroid. Shellos. Got the reverse hollow cubone. And we've got the Escavalier. We'll save the two Silvalay packs for last. That works. I know I always go crazy tinfoil hat Timmy Tony on one art for every set, so I guess it'll be Silvalay for this one. See? This is the dips you give them. They got these for, like, every typing. Okay. I'm sure not every typing in the card game, since there aren't as many. Well, right. maybe every typing card game, since there aren't as many, but... Like, I don't know if there's a dragon one. I don't know if there's a fairy one. Yeah. But those exist in the game. A Aaron. Geodude. The Dino Dino. I love that entire evolution chain. Oink, oink with the spoink. And we've got an Altaria <laughs> in the rare slot. Alright, we've got the Buzzwolves. Yeah, that's like the... This is like the... Yeah, there's like a tag team of this one and like the little cricket looking one. And they're like the, the tag team that's good in like the Grass Mewtwo deck, I want to say it is. I don't actually know exactly what these decks are, but like I know there's... I know there is a tag team with that card on it that's... Are you upside down? Okay. I didn't notice that the energy was upside down, and I just saw the dashing back. pouch, yeah. and I was like, what? Unless an we get to the back, yeah, right. and they're right side up. Chime Echo. Cool. What the? That is dope. That's I. That's one of the first cards when I was looking through the book that caught my eye. Ultra Beast. Okay, so these are like the space monsters or whatever from the game. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think eight prizes and a six. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's that's bad. That one's iffy. That one's a little. You want to get as little prizes as possible. I think I saw now Halego GX Vent. Looking kind of sussy to me. Mm. Execute. I wonder what tasks it was doing. Spoink. Ooh, we've got the reverse hollow on the haunter. That's cool. And we've got the Man, star wow. raptor. Star raptor. Okay. Let's see if we got something lit out of this last one. I have like an ultra rare, like full art version of that too. Of the Asiago Cheese GX. Uh, yeah. Jellyfish make it really hard to win the game. GX. Galadian. Dashing Pouch. <clears throat> Mawile. Corefish. Mincino. Magikarp. Execute. Cubone. Here's a crack. Got the reverse hollow star you. Any call shots on the last one? Um, going once here, we're going to go with... Uh, I want a gold warp energy. A gold warp energy. You got a Reggie Steel. Yeah, that's my least favorite Reggie. No, no disrespect to Crimson Invasion. Compared to some of the sets, it's not as much of as a heater. But like, it's always super cool to open cool, old Pokemon cards like that. All right, all right, all right. So... We did the Crimson Invasion. Shout out to... I want to make sure I get through it. Shout out to James Davis and everyone else over at Nerds vs. Geeks once again. I was super excited to be able to get those cards. I am humbled by that little letter you sent us. We are super excited to have your stuff. We're super excited for you guys to be up and running. And I'm sure you'll be getting more business from us before too, too long. 